guys welcome back to my channel my name is Chama I go by Queen Chama on YouTube today starts the beginning of back to school week or college week on my channel every day this week I'm going to be having a back to school or college related video whether it be fashion or supplies or things that just are related to school I am going to college hence the t-shirt University of Toledo, U Toledo 19, turn up because I'm finna be in there. I've never been this excited to go to school because obviously like school, grade school is just blah. But you know, college, I'm moving out. I have all my stuff around this room. It's crazy. And I'm going out of state. Um, I can't wait to go. I've already talked to my roommates. They seem like, like the coolest girls ever. We gonna have a nice time. I'm just ready to go. So this week I'm going to be having videos for you guys and I just want you guys to stay tuned as I help you guys and share my knowledge about what you might need or give you tips regarding going back to school and being ready to start a new year. So today's in a nice video plan. is the long-awaited dorm room haul. I've had people request me on Instagram and in the comments and like on Twitter and stuff say, hey girl, why don't you do a dorm room haul? I want to see what you're going to get for your dorm room when you go to college. I'm like, I got y'all. Like, don't think I didn't get y'all because I got y'all. So starting off, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put into my dorm room. I'm going to make this a two-in-one video, so it's going to be extremely long, sorry. The first half of the video is going to be things that, you know, you need that are essential for your dorm room itself. But because I'm staying in a suite style dorm room, I'm going to be showing you in the second half of the video, like, things that you just need to live in a suite with other people. So the first things first, the number one thing that people, like, love to get for like their dorm room that they have to search long and hard for is a bedding. I think most or all college dorm room beds are in a size twin extra long so it gives you extra space. So for my bedding I got a, I'm going with pink. I know I wanted to try to do something different but me and my roommate love pink. So I'm going with this pink one. I can't really show you. I'll show y'all a picture of what it looks like on a bed. But it's pink and it has like this gold detailing. Everyone knows my two favorite colors are pink and gold. And it's also reversible so it has like um, regular just solid pink on the inside. But I saw this and I got this from Target. I saw it online. I was like oh that's cute because it doesn't really come with like um, a sham or sheets or anything. So you can dress up your pillows and sheets and shams any way that you want so you're not stuck to the same kind of thing. So when it comes for the second semester, I can kind of switch it up, you know, reverse so it. So I got this this one. It's like a light pink with um gold shimmery type of distress color thing. I like it. it looks like it's going to be soft too. I felt it was really soft. So hopefully I can sleep good at night. So the next items that I got that go along with the bedding are the sheets. Of course, you need the sheets. Um, so I got plain white sheets. I don't know. Um, I just like white, even though my makeup will probably stain this some nights where I just come home and just fall right asleep or something. I just really like white. I think white just goes to everything. So I got white sheets to go with that. And then I also got for the second semester, whenever I want to switch it up, these, um, white ones that have like this pink and like, um, rose gold orangey color. It's like a chevron going all around. So I got that. That also matches it pretty well. So just in case I want to like switch it up and change it from the solid white, I can change it. So to next, this what one. you'll need is some pillowcases. So I got two pillowcases to go with um, that other set that was the chevron one, and then I got two white pillowcases to go with the white set, and then I'll have like other stuff to like spruce up my bed as well. So definitely get some pillowcases that match nicely with your bedding and your sheets. So next, um, this is very essential to the bed as well. A pillow. I got a nice fluffy pillow. I got this at Kmart because you know you guys know I work at oh I worked at Kmart so you know I got discounts but I got this pillow I got two to go with my bed they're very big and very firm it's just a standard size um, you can get ones that go with twin beddings but I gotta have something to put my head on at night so I got the standard size pillows and then along with that I got like pillow covers just cuz you you want as much protection in an unknown and unfamiliar place as possible like I said, it's college. People have slept on their bed before. They might wash it, but you just never know. So I got pillow covers. This is the ones with like the zipper. So you put your pillow, and you put this on it, and then you put your case. So it just adds some more. So this next item well. is very, very essential when it comes to college, bedding, beds, dorm, whatever. And it's a mattress pad. This one I got at Ollie's for seventeen dollars. I was gonna get a really expensive one at Target. But they didn't have twin extra long and I was running out of time. So I was like, I'll just buy it when I get to campus and stuff. But I got this one just to hold me over until then. 
and you need a mattress pad I've heard those beds are hard as rocks and even if they're not even that hard you don't know what's on that bed people have slept there for years and years and years before you they may have washed it they may have not I don't care I had to get me a mattress pad just keep them bed bugs out because I have to have this like you have to have a mattress pad unless you don't know what you're putting yourself into. You know, it's an unfamiliar place, so just make sure you're being very sanitary and keeping your health in the Another best Another item that you'll yourself. definitely need for your bedding and stuff is just like a throw blanket, like one of these really soft um, microfiber ones. So Toledo in Ohio, if you didn't know, I'm going to school in Ohio. It gets really cold because we're right by Lake Michigan and we're right at the top of the state. So I'm going to need as much support and as much comfort that so I can get. So the last item I got that has to do with bedding is this sham. I bought this before I even saw the bedding in person. It goes pretty well. Um, so I'll have other things spruced up. But this one's really soft and, you know, I just like it. I don't know. It kind of has, like, squares on it. I don't know. It's cute. So I just got this. It's pink. So I'm going like to move it. on to items that you need for, like, the bathroom and stuff. That's not necessarily your dorm room bedroom but it's your dorm room suite or whatever so this all goes in the video together the most essential thing you're going to need for anything that has to do with the bathroom are some towels my towels look like this i got a black one i've never even got black towels i was going to get white but at the same time those just get dirty so easily so i got the black ones and then i got pink as well i just got black and pink i know it's too much pink but that's what I got. So you're going to need regular size one like those. You're going to need some face towels, which are the smaller ones, like this size. And then you'll need some hand towels, which are these, this size here. The next thing you'll need for the bathroom is some sort of, like, um, sponge. So I got this sponge as a gift from my friend Dominique. And it's just a white sponge. And she also got me stuff to, like, go with it, like body wash and stuff. So make sure you have a sponge. You need to wash yourself. If you're in college, you're sharing a room with other people. Don't stink. So the next item that you're going to need for the bathroom is a plunger. Um, believe it or not, you're going to be sharing a room. Someone's going to have to, you know, number two. So if the, anything does happen to, you know, receive some turbulence down the drain, got to get a plunger to take it out because it's going to be really embarrassing when you have to go ask your residence assistant who may be a male to come unclog your toilet. You know what I'm saying? And then also a toilet bowl brush cleaner. That as well. I just got mine in um, black and white. Our bathroom color scheme is actually blue, but I didn't find any cute ones that were blue. Uh, it was either black and white or the red, ugly rubber ones that are usually used. So I just got these two, you know, just to clean your toilet once in a while. Well, not once in a while. Clean it every day. And then the toilet plunger just in case anything happens to the toilet. So the last and most important thing for bathroom stuff is a shower caddy. I can't stress this enough. You need to keep all your stuff in here. That way your stuff doesn't get mixed up or unorganized with your roommate stuff. And also it's just for straight hygiene. Just keeping your stuff to yourself. It's easy for you to walk over to um, the bathroom. So, you know, just keep your things so in next, here. And um, we're going to move on to things that you need for like your kitchen and stuff like that. So the first thing I think you should definitely get are little containers like this so you can keep your food in, They're like Tupperware and stuff. This is glass. I got a set and it just has a small one, medium one, and a big one just in case, like, you know, you're eating something, just need to store it away, you didn't finish, put it in there. You're also going to need some dishes. I've already packed up a lot of my stuff, so it's already packed, but I did get these types of bowls like this and it has two square bowls and then one, like, round bowl. And then you're also going to need some cups. So I have a cup like that. And then I have two cups that look like this. And then you'll need some plates. My plates are in here. Sorry, I don't feel like taking them out. I have a lot of things packed already. But you can just see they're white and they just have like little polka dots on them. So make sure you get some plates so you can eat. And then to eat, of course, you're going to need some silverware. My godmother got me these. Shout out to her. And so this just comes with um, two forks, a knife, and two spoons. And I think it actually has um extra in the back but this is just what it looks like definitely gonna need something to eat not gonna use your hands so get that and then sometimes if you're in a rush you're gonna need some like on the go type stuff so i got this um collapsible food container and it's just pink i got this from walmart and pretty much it has the three in one utensil thing which i heard is actually really nice it's like a fork spoon and a knife all in one so whatever you're eating you should be able to eat it well and this is very collapsible so it's like a rubber so i thought this was nice you know you could just use this if you're on the go and you really need some storage to store your snacks or your food or whatever it may be and then for the kitchen um if you are doing the dishes if it's your night 
Make sure you have some sponges to clean off the dishes and stuff. That's so simple, but sometimes you might forget the little things. Also for the kitchen, to hold your napkins, get, make sure you get um, a paper towel holder. Again, something that you just might forget to pick up. But yeah, just to hold your paper towels, just in case. I don't know if any of my roommates are bringing this. They may have forgot, but I just brought it because I remembered it. Um, you might have some chips and stuff. You might need like a bag. Mine is like the magnetic bag clips and stuff. But like, so I just got the colorful ones just just because those are the ones that were there. But bag clips to clip up all your, your chips or your food, anything that's open just so it doesn't go bad and it stays fresh. Another kitchen essential is definitely a broom. I got this broom. You definitely just need a broom. That way when you guys do your chores and stuff, whoever's turning this to sweep up the living space has a broom to do that and don't have to use a little small dustpan to clean up a whole large area. And then for the kitchen, you're definitely going to need a dustpan with the brush. My brush is actually over there. I just didn't feel like getting it. But make sure you have this. You might drop some crumbs from your goldfish crackers or whatever. And you might need to just um, sweep it up. So definitely a dustpan definitely will come in handy. And then the last thing for like the kitchen area is definitely a vacuum. I got this mini vacuum from Target. This actually works really well. So then I took everything out, tested it to make sure it works. And it works really well. It's actually not that loud. It's a 3-in-1. So I would recommend this one actually. This one's really good. It's just a Dirt Devil works really well I tested it out just to make sure everything was good I'll definitely be using this one it's my turn to clean because so I moving not on to like part two of this video everything else that I have is kind of like um, miscellaneous it doesn't really have that much of a category that I could have broke it down into so I'm just going to show you what I have and kind of group them together with relevance but just bear with me because I'm just trying to show you everything that I got. So the first item is in college you're definitely going to have to do your laundry on your own. You're also going to have to pay for it probably in quarters. So make sure you have your quarters ready. But you're going to need a hamper. So the hamper that I got is this white mesh one. And it's circular like this. It actually pops out. Where is it? Come on. There we go. It's just like a circle square one. I like this. And you might think, like, is this even enough for your clothes? But hold on, I got a surprise. So I purchased this bad boy right here. And it's actually a laundry hamper that you can roll. It just comes out like that, as you can see. It has wheels so that you can, like, roll down the hallway. It might be a little bit cheesy, but I don't care. I don't like to carry heavy stuff. And I have a lot of clothes to wash, usually. So I'm going to put my hamper inside of here. And um, it has pockets in that so I can put my detergent and stuff and soap and stuff and roll it down the hall. I got this from Kmart. Like I said, I worked at Kmart. So I got to like explore all the things they had. I would recommend this, honestly. I put this together all by myself and I'm not like really good with mechanical things. So I would definitely um, get this. It's also retractable so it's easy. I like it, guys. Get this. I like this a lot. So. The next thing you're definitely going to need for college are hangers to hang up all your stuff. I got pink hangers and they're plastic. I don't like wire hangers at all. I got these ones and they have like the little um, hooks in it and stuff so I can like easily hang my stuff so it doesn't fall. And I got a bunch of these so it's not just these ones but I got a bunch of these and I really really um, recommend getting all the same hangers just so it's easy for you to organize things a little bit better but yes I did get these and next I got thing you'll need is something to just kind of like furnish your dorm room um my dorm room is a complete suite I'm sharing the suite with five other girls and it's two girls to a room with a bathroom and a living area so it's not as bad as you might think it is I know people are like I can't live with that many people as long as you get along and everyone's in agreement with stuff you should be fine but for my actual dorm room I got a rug and I got this rug from um, Kmart, I think. And it's just like a pink furry one. My roommate and I are doing pink for our dorm room. Our dorm room is actually um, hard floor. So the floors are going to be kind of cold and like hard. And I just, I don't know, my whole house is just straight carpet. Except for like the one little small hallway and like the bathrooms and stuff. It's straight carpet. I'm used to walking on carpet. So I don't like cold floor like that. So definitely make sure you have something if you don't like cold floors so that when you step off your bed, you're not just hitting the cold floor. You have like a rug to step onto and then you can like put on your flip flops So another miscellaneous item that you'll probably need that you may have forgotten is a lint brush. My mom is like so keen on like nice clothes and looking presentable. So she got me a lint brush from Ollie's. This is the one that's like as seen on TV. It's called Lint Magic and like... I don't know, picks up everything apparently. It's like the sticky one. So um, don't forget lint brush. You never know if like you're gonna get like stuff all over your clothes. Lint brush. The next item that you'll need is definitely an iron. I need to stress this real quick. 
I cannot stand when people wear wrinkled clothes. I don't ever walk out my house with wrinkled clothes. If a boy tries to come and talk to me and his shirt is wrinkled or something just don't look right, especially if we're at a formal event, he gonna have to get the boot. Cause just, you look so much more formal and presentable when your clothes are straight. I mean, I know some people can't really afford an iron or doesn't have an iron, but there are actually other ways that you can have your clothes straight, fresh out of the dryer, and not use an iron. But for college purposes, I feel like always have an iron, keep your clothes nice and fresh looking. An iron helps even if you have to re-wear something and you don't even have time to wash it. Ironing it and like spraying and stuff kind of helps. So an iron is something you'll definitely need. I can't live So the next iron. item that you need that you probably forgot maybe is outlets. So I got this little outlet thing. It's like the spinny one. It rotates 90 degrees. Um, I don't know. You have to check out your dorm room itself. But in my dorm room, I don't think we have that many um, outlets for stuff. So, especially if you want to arrange your bed a certain way that makes like the most space. So, outlets are definitely um, essential because you need to like plug your phone in, your light, your camera charger, whatever it may be. Definitely get some Next, outlets. Next, you'll definitely need something to um, cook and heat up food while you're in your dorm room. I have since purchased a mini fridge and also a microwave. I just didn't show that because I didn't really feel like it was 100% like... A necessity some people can't afford or some people do not have that so I didn't make that in this video but I find it kind of essential to kind of have like a rice cooker or something like kind of small I got my rice cooker from Ollie's I got a lot of things from Ollie's I want bargain shopping for my stuff and it's just a plain rice cooker this one was $13 just so you can heat up your stuff or you know make certain things when you don't feel like going to the cafeteria because as good as the cafeteria food seems now because you're used to terrible high school food, it probably gets old. So make sure you have something else in your room that you can just whip up a few like entrees. Another or item that you're else. gonna need is bed risers. Now, like I said, the beds are twin extra long, so they will be very long, but they might not be that high off the ground. Even for my bed at home, I have bed risers, so it's easy to store stuff underneath. Um, remember in college you have to share a lot of space so you might not have that much space underneath your bed for like your tubs and stuff so bed risers helps to add extra space these are the six inch ones so you'll have an extra six inches of space plus however high your bed is off the ground so I have bed riders at home I would recommend them for college too that way you can just have a higher bed and put more of your personal belongings underneath your bed and tub. So next item I got are these trouser hangers um, my closet for my dorm room is really not that big at all. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I have a lot of stuff. So I might just have to keep things folded underneath my bed and storage bins. But um, you can use these to hang pretty much anything. It doesn't just have to be pants. So pants, ties, if you're a guy or even if you like to wear ties as a girl. Um, you can try jewelry, anything. And then these are just so like flat and thin that it will be easy to hang in your closet so it doesn't take up that much space but you still have room to um, put other things in there and then you can have this stuff in here so you can have other things in a different place if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to move on to the last category and these are going to be like the personal items you know things that you know us girls need or just you need in general. Um, this is not necessarily necessities but in a way you're probably going to use everything so I'm really that I'm going to go through these really briefly because I feel like this video will be extremely long if I sat here and explain everything so I'm, so I'm going to make this as brief as so I can. So the first thing is some shampoo and conditioner. This is mine. I like to use Aussie. Um, it's just a two-in-one that way I didn't have to buy a shampoo, conditioner, shampoo, and conditioner. I got a lot of bottles of this so this is definitely something that and then you're need. gonna need some um, body wash that way you don't stink real real self-explanatory body wash and then of course get some razors so you can just shave I usually just shave my underarms and then um, I use like the nair or whatever for my legs and stuff but yeah definitely something to shave with and then you're gonna need some lotion so I use St. Ives I just like the way how it smells and stuff and looks natural so St. Ives lotion definitely need some lotion and also I just got hip to um like the spray on lotion so I like to use spray on lotion as well especially when it's like um, hot out this is like really cooling so you can just spray it on I and then you're gonna need lotion. some deodorant so you don't stink again I'm sorry about this whole stink thing y'all I just I don't know like I've never had to really live with like a bunch of people even like my brother he went to college he's been in college for five years he graduates in a couple of months it's just been my sister and I and we just like we don't really have to share that much, so I don't know. But deodorant, and then you'll need some smell. face wash. Um, I like to wear makeup a lot. 
especially when I go out, you know, in college, there's like parties and whatnot where makeup, make sure you wash your face so you don't break it. And then you'll probably need a hairbrush. I got a new paddle brush just because, you know, you got to get these kinks out these little, these bundles. So paddle brush is definitely And then for the good. shower, I have a sponge. I know I got one earlier, but that was just like a gift set. I also just got one just in case. This one's pink, And then you're going to need a pack of toothbrushes just in case, Um, you know. You're not going to stay in college for like a day, so you'll be there for a while. So make sure you switch out your toothbrushes because I heard that just And then helps. to prevent bacteria on that, definitely get some toothbrush covers. I never use these at home, but my mom was like, you're going to a place you don't know. There's other people. Cover your toothbrush just so you don't get like any gummy. And then I got shaving cream. I got the EOS kind. This one's really cheap. It's like it's really inexpensive. It's actually really soft. So I really like this EOS kind. It comes in like this really nice bottle. So shaving cream, just so you know, shaving cream. And then, like I said, I'm going in the cold. It's hot right now, but sooner or later I know it's going to be really cold in Ohio. So I got me some petroleum jelly. You know, this stuff makes me warm. But, you know, petroleum jelly has multiple uses. So definitely keep this in hand. And then I had the spray on deodorant. I also got um, the regular roll up deodorant. So this is the stick one and I like to use the Gris for my stick deodorant and then for my spray on I use the And Dove. then maybe for your laundry I got like this downy spray. Um, someone told me this weird scenario like if you wake up and it's like 10 minutes before class and you don't want to smell like pajama and sleep spray your downy spray. I think it just smells like nice like even as a body spray you can use it. And then if you're going somewhere hot, you're definitely going to need sunblock. Even though I'm not going somewhere where it's going to be hot, it's going to be really cold, I like to use sunblock throughout the entire year. I got the 100 one. I didn't even know they had these. But sunblock, so um, I like to keep my complexion. Um, I like getting tan, but I don't know. I feel like I get really tan. So and then like for your hair, heat protectant, definitely, girls. Y'all already know you need heat protectant just to keep your hair fresh. Especially if you're going to be wearing weaves a lot. You don't want your weave to deteriorate on you just because of heat damage because you're going to be a broke college student. So you can't just keep spending it on $200 buttons. And then some argan oil for your hair. I just always like to use it, especially when straightening. I have your and then on. another thing is essential are Q-tips. Um, I use Q-tips for cosmetics, clean my ears. Don't forget Q-tips, guys. Don't. And then tissues. Like I said, I'm going somewhere where it's going to be cold. I've never even. When I went to Toledo, when it was like winter time. Oh my goodness, I've never felt a cold like that. Even in living in Pennsylvania, I live in the southern part, so it doesn't even get bare cold. But it was brisky, or brisk, whatever. Some tissues because I know your nose is going to start And then don't eventually. forget toothpaste. I don't know why I use this AIM one. It's like a gel. People say they hate it. I like it. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. But I like the and AIM And then you're going to need some like baby wipes or something just for like wiping down the area. Um, it's not makeup remover, but you can use it to remove your makeup. Just need some baby wipes. And then along with that, make sure you get the jar and then get the ones where you can like refill the stuff. So I always get the refillable pack as well. That way... Um, I don't have to like waste my money buying a whole nother And then one. ladies, um, this is kind of like, you know, girl thing, but, um, pads and tampons. I have a box of tampons that's just not in this bin, but don't forget your pads and tampons. I know you can't forget that. I don't know why I said that, but just make sure you have these and have it in bulk because you just never know. You never So know. another item that you might need, ladies, is makeup remover. Like I said, I do like to do my makeup a lot and, um, yeah, soap and water doesn't cut it and neither do cheap, like, baby wipes, so... I like to use the Neutrogena ones. They might be a little bit expensive for just like 20 But yeah. And do also like do not forget like a nail kit. Um, this is not even something that's girly. Like you just keep your nails looking nice. Um, like cutting your nails everything. I just got me a little kit because I feel like it's easy to put in like your bag and stuff. So just in case your nail breaks. I hate the feeling when your nail breaks and like you can't clip or file it. And then also don't forget like an umbrella. You never know when it's going to snow or rain. I know. I almost forgot this too, but I remember. So I just got this one. It's just cheap. And then it's not really big. essential, but I did get this um bag. It's supposed to be like a travel makeup bag type thing. When you open it, it has one plastic side there, and then it has one mesh side there. And it's just like to hold your things when maybe you might have a fashion show or something, and you need to put your makeup in something. So you could just put it in here. I got this one. I was going to get a pink one, but I like this black. And another and thing you better. need for your dorm room is a lamp for your desk. Um, mine has like the little um, thing where you can like put in like the USB and it also has a plug on it. So yeah, definitely need a lamp 
to study at night, you know, that way you don't have all the lights on and your roommate is trying to sleep or something. And then another item that you need for your um, dorm room or just to share with everyone is a trash can that is closable. So um, just something to keep in mind. Um, ladies, you know, we go through that time of month. If you put your um, waste inside like a bin that doesn't have a cover, you're exposing the room and the people in the room to your natural body smells, if you know what I mean. Um, so if you get one that's closable, even if you want to just dispose food, it keeps the room smelling a little bit fresher if you can close it. So mine has a step pedal and then it just opens and comes up like that. And I got this in a peach Moving on color. to more essential items. Um, a lot of people tend to forget this stuff, but you're going to need something to take care of yourself just in case you get sick. So don't forget a thermometer. I got this one at Walmart. Tells you your temperature in 60 seconds. And then if your stomach starts to hurt because you drank too much, I already know y'all turn up. Pepto-Bismol for like gas and stuff. And then like I take Mucinex for everything else. I love Mucinex. When I get like a cold, these next is all. And then, ladies, just in case you're on your period or anything, but um, might all for your like your cramps and, or any other like cramp relief medicine that you use. I like to use Mitol. And then me. I take vitamin D because I am deficient in vitamin D. So um, I got the adult gummies. I love this stuff. I could literally eat this in one day, but don't do that. And then for aches and pains, I did get um, how do y'all pronounce this? Acetaminophen, acetaminophen, whatever. But yeah, my mom picked this up. Some quick She's items that you may not want to forget that I didn't really mention are your refrigerator, of course. Make sure it fits the size requirements. Your microwave. Um, don't forget your like ID for like your school. So I have my University of Toledo rocket ID, and I'm not going to show y'all the picture because it's ugly. So, ladies, don't forget something to put your makeup in. Um, I have my containers and stuff already um don't forget batteries don't forget a flashlight i just want to share i just want to thank you guys, you guys for watching my video i know this video was extremely long if you really like this video please give me a thumbs up because this is going to um share the video and help other people who are looking for like college stuff and back to school stuff also definitely share this video with someone else because you know we need to let everyone know about dorm rooms and all that stuff we're all going back to school and also do not forget to subscribe like i said this is back to school week so i have more videos every week for this entire week about back to school fashion supplies thoughts all that stuff more to come so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow